If you were asked to name two areas that could really change the world of humanity's future in the next few years, what would you name? For us, it's definitely robotics and artificial intelligence. In the past, those fields developed overlapping, but never merging. But now everyone understands that the time has come to combine them in order to achieve a real breakthrough in technology. Before we get started, we need to talk about a thing called Moravec's paradox. It's a principle in the field of artificial intelligence and robotics, which says highly cognitive processes require relatively little computation, while low-level sensory motor operations require enormous computations. According to Moravec, it's relatively easy to reach the level of an adult in tasks such as intelligence tasks or various games, but difficult or impossible to reach the skills of a one-year-old child in perception or mobility tasks. So basically, it's easier to teach a robot to play chess than pour water into a glass. According to a recent study by scientists at University of Sheffield in the UK, it makes no sense to try to create a more advanced artificial intelligence without allowing it to develop in the most natural way possible, by learning and evolving from real interactions with the world. In other words, if we want AI to be able to evolve and learn about the world like a human, we need to build its architecture like a human brain and give it all the physical capabilities and senses of a real person, namely sight and touch. And the most obvious way to do this is to combine AI with the humanoid body. The same conclusion was long ago reached by techno leaders such as Elon Musk and Sam Altman, as well as techno giants such as Google, Amazon, Microsoft, etc. It looks like we are entering a new era of artificial intelligence and humanoid robots. We'll tell you all about the latest developments in this field and the most advanced AI robots in this issue. Hey everyone, it's me, Connor, the host of the Pro Robots channel. Completely a real person, not fake. I hope you enjoy watching our videos as much as we enjoy making them. This week, I have a little game for you. Over the past few episodes, I've hidden a few Easter eggs for you in the forms of quotes of various science fiction films. After watching the videos, if you think you've found one, tell us who said the quote and where, and we'll let you know if you're right in the comments. Good luck, enjoy the new episode, and may the force be with you. The first descriptions of mechanical devices that imitate human appearance and functions can be found in the works of scientists several centuries before our era. But the first computer itself is considered to be an anti-Kytherian mechanism, a kind of onboard computer from about the second century BC. It had the functions of a calendar, a map of the solar system, an astronomical clock, and a calculating machine capable of determining the movements of celestial bodies. Robots that looked and acted like humans began to appear in the mid-20th century. And the first striking appearance of humanoid robots on YouTube was the DARPA Robotics Challenge, held from 2012 to 2015. Back then, humanoid machines had to perform quite human tasks, such as driving a golf cart to the test site, opening a door, and using power tools. They only had 50 minutes for the task. The competition made the robots really famous. Although not as super advanced devices, but as a source of viral videos and memes with endless epic fails. At the time, the DARPA Robotics Challenge folded. But today, the situation has changed. The descendants of those poor, clumsy robots have become smarter, more agile, and more graceful. So late last year, the finals of the Avatar X Prize competition were held, where humanoid robots had to perform complex tasks to realize various missions on the moon in Avatar mode. The competition has been held for four years. A total of 99 teams from around the world competed for the 10 million prize pool. We went to the finals of the competition and did a full feature on the English channel. You can check it out in the link below. According to Jerry Pratt, whose team won the last DARPA competition, there have been significant advances in technology for humanoid robots in the last 10 years. So real intelligent humanoids are just around the corner. Pratt knows what he's talking about, too. Today, he's the CTO of a startup called Figure, which regularly receives solid sums of investments and secretly develops and tests its humanoid robots in warehouses. For now, we can only satisfy our curiosity with a rendered video of the robot, but the developers are promising to roll out a working universal humanoid robot in 2024. And this startup can be believed, as Figure's founder, Brett Adcock, has already been able to design, build, test fly, and get pre-orders for the Evital flying cabs under the Archer Aviation brand for one year. This is something that many companies around the world have been struggling with, with various levels of success. 
In addition, the startup's team consists of people from such companies such as IHMC, Boston Dynamics, Tesla, Waymo, and Google X, who at different times have worked on such projects such as the Atlas version of the DRC, the NASA Valkyrie robot, and the Nadia robot from the Florida University of Human and Machine Cognition, and others. In total, if startup representatives are to be believed, the people on the figure team have been involved in the creation of 12 of the most advanced humanoid robots in the world. The figure one robot will be capable of thinking, learning, and interacting with its environment, and working in hard, monotonous, and dangerous jobs. Unfortunately, we don't have any detailed information about the Wonder Robot. We only know that the company will not seek to make it superhuman. The robot won't be able to do somersaults or lift tons, but it will be able to work in the limited space created for humans. And of course, more importantly, it will be endowed with enough intelligence to perform ordinary tasks in warehouses and factories. The cost of the robot will be comparable to the price of a car, which should ensure market demand. Figure showed the first teaser of the robot exactly when Elon Musk showed a prototype of his humanoid with exactly the same purpose and characteristics. It's worth saying that not everyone takes the Tesla bot seriously. And many don't believe that Elon Musk will create a robot in a couple of years that's more advanced than what Boston Dynamics has managed to create in 20 years. But there are a number of factors to consider here. The first one is the rapid development of technology, materials, batteries for cars, sensors and detectors, and of course, the improvement of artificial intelligence. The same Bostonians today are already training their robot differently and making faster progress in its development. And the famous ChatGPT promises new possibilities for robots, which we'll talk about a bit later. The second factor is that Musk is certainly a visionary and brilliant entrepreneur. He started saying that electric cars were the future long before the world believed it. When other companies woke up and began to urgently develop electric cars, Musk bet on autopilot, announcing that soon cars would drive themselves. Yes, that hasn't happened yet, but the company's stock rose and competitors then rushed to develop their active driver assistance systems. And then the head of Tesla presented something that nobody expected from him, a humanoid robot, which, according to Musk, will become the company's core business in the future. The third factor is that Musk is super, 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 super rich. So if nothing else, he can just throw money at projects until something happens. Yes, Tesla's bot, or Optimus as it's called, isn't ready yet, but its latest version is already able to walk, recognize objects around it, and perform a number of actions on its own. We talked in detail about the robot and the issue in the link below. Having originally relied on autopilot algorithms as the robot's brain, Musk now realizes that it was key to rely on big language models. He bought graphics processors and began recruiting a team for his own AI startup. But why then did Musk write a big online letter about the dangers of AI and demand to halt its development? Only Elon himself can explain, but we can assume that although he might personally be afraid of AI and robots, he does not intend to drop out of advanced technology races. After all, there's money to be made. Write down what you think in the comments. Musk personally attended the DARPA Robotics Challenge in 2015 and apparently realized at the time that the technology was not ready, unlike now. By the way, we posted some of the most epic fails from the DARPA Robotics Challenge in our Telegram channel, so join us if you're looking for the lulls. But back to robotic brains. Big language models like ChatGPT can really give robots superpowers to understand human speech and correctly interpret it as a set of understandable and executable commands for the robot. Such an example was recently shown by Agility Robotics. In the video, the robot digit receives the command, clean up the mess, without any explanation of what the mess is or how exactly it should be cleaned. The robot itself interprets the command into an available set of actions using a neural network. This fundamentally changes the possibilities of our interaction with robots. By the way, Agility wasn't the first on this path. Alphabet, Google's parent company, is working on a robot that can already execute simple commands based on the Palm language model. For example, it can bring something to eat or wipe up juice spilled on the floor. Meta, Mark Zuckerberg's company, is using Spot from Boston Dynamics to develop technology that allows robots to learn to navigate the world they see on their own and all without having to create extensive software explaining what the world looks like and what it's made of. And Amazon, after a few not so successful attempts to create its own robot, is investing in the same agility robotics. 
Even the Airbus Group tried to develop a humanoid robot for use on aircraft assembly lines. To do this, the company invested four years in the Joint Robotics Laboratory Research Project, a joint laboratory of Japan's National Institute of Advanced Industrial Science and Technology and France's National Center for Scientific Research. It looks like the experiment ended up going nowhere, but it just took place at the wrong time, from 2016 to 2020. And the real breakthrough in the field of intelligent humanoid robots should take place only now, or in the near future. Sam Altman, the head of OpenAI, which created ChatGPT, is convinced of this. He first made the sensational claim that in the future, the size of the language model won't matter much. We're coming to an end of the era of giant language models, he said, adding that OpenAI will continue to improve them and use them in other ways. So what exactly is OpenAI developing now? Altman didn't reveal it yet, but the most obvious interpretation is that the key to new breakthroughs is not to fill neural networks with more and more data, but to use them in new ways. And for OpenAI, that was precisely by combining the developed AI with the physical body of a robot. In fact, the company has wanted to create a universal humanoid before. It invested heavily in development and created a robotic arm that could assemble the Rubik's Cube. But in 2021, the robotics department was liquidated for lack of further progress. And now the situation has changed. The company has ChatGPT, and with it, a billion dollars in development from Microsoft. Not surprisingly, after realizing the potential of its neural networks and controlling drones and robots, OpenAI itself invested in One X Technology, a Norwegian startup dedicated to building humanoid robots. With the money, the robotics startup promises to create the Neo Robot, which will allow artificial intelligence to take the form of a human body. The machine, equipped with an algorithmic brain based on ChatGPT, is designed to become the workforce that will support or replace humans in carrying out any particularly burdensome or dangerous work, such as working at a great height or dealing with hazardous substances. The first results are expected as early as the end of this summer. Another ambitious project of an intelligent and skillful humanoid belongs to Sanctuary AI, which recently presented its Phoenix robot. The developers assure that this is the world's first human intelligence in a general purpose robot. The robot is equipped with Carbon, a pioneering AI control system. It is the cognitive architecture and software environment for general purpose humanoid robots. The system incorporates advanced artificial intelligence technology to convert spoken language into action, allowing Phoenix to think, act, and perform tasks just as humans do. In addition, the system provides explainable and verifiable reasoning, task, and action plans. Phoenix also incorporates symbolic and logical reasoning, as well as modern models of big language. You should realize that all of this is still advertising text for potential investors. The reality in the case of Phoenix is that the robot is controlled remotely using a telepresence system. But unlike other teleoperated robots, it remembers the skills it has learned, so it can learn and move on to autonomous work in the future. At least, that's what the developers claim. Engineers will start automating the robot with individual repetitive tasks, such as opening a door or grabbing objects. Then they plan to move on to longer chains of action. And so gradually, they will reach full autonomy. We couldn't find any data online about how much money is invested today in the development of universal humanoid robots in their artificial intelligence. But the robotics market was nearly $90 billion in 2022 and is expected to exceed $225 billion in 2030. Everyone involved in this race understands that a global breakthrough in technology is close at hand, and whoever is the first to bring a humanoid robot to market can expect to make incredible profits. As we said at the beginning, nobody has canceled the Moravic Paradox yet, but the stakes are so high that it doesn't stop anyone from trying anymore. Even though no one really knows when this global breakthrough will happen, literally every day, every month, more and more companies around the world enter the race. And the first to succeed in making a universal humanoid robot useful in production will conquer the world. After all, it will be possible to simply put a worker aside and put a robot in his place without changing anything in production. What do you think? When robots will be able to understand any human commands, write their own code to carry out these commands using ChatGPT, and complete the job with the dexterity of the best human specialist, will there really be any need for us skin bags anymore? Write in the comments and tell us what you think. Join us on Telegram, subscribe to the channel, and don't miss new releases from the world of high technology.